Hey guys, let's talk about another problem today called sliding window median. Uh, it's marked as hard and the number is 480. And this problem is very similar to another problem called finding data, uh, finding median in a data stream. Uh, I think it's 295. So if you guys wanna talk about that in future, just let me know in the comments. The solution of both these problems are very similar. They both use two heap structure and they use the balancing technique of heaps. So that's a very good solution to this problem. It's an efficient solution and it's not that hard to understand. So let's talk about this problem today. So the problem says that you are given a, a list of numbers uh, or the array of numbers and you are given a window size, uh, let's say here is three in this example and you have to find the median of each window while you trade over the array. So let's say, for example, if you're given an array of, let's say, 1, minus 1, 3, minus 1, minus 3, 5, you have to find the median of each window. And let's say window size is 3, then the median should be of this, which is 3. Now here the median is not 3 because this array is not sorted, but this is, these are the windows here. So the median of any array is the middle value. Uh, when the array is sorted. So if the array is odd, then the middle value is picked. And if the array is not is not odd or it's even, then we pick the average of two middle values. So for example, if if we take the window size of three here and we take first three elements, then the sorted order will be minus one, one, three, the middle value will be one and the median is one. If we take four elements and we take the sorted order, it will be one, minus three, one, three, and the, and the median will be one, plus minus one divided by two is equals to zero. So how do we find the median of, uh, of a particular window in an array? We'll use a very simple structure of heap, which basically contains values in a particular order, whether it's min value at the first or the max value at the first, and they're called min heap or the max heap respectively. So what is the basic uh, approach here? How to solve this problem? So the basic uh, approach in a form of flowchart is Let's say when an element comes, we first add it to min heap. Then that element goes into max heap or, or the first element goes into the max heap. So the first element of min heap goes into the max heap. And here then we check if the size of max heap exceeds min heap. Then we transfer the first element from max heap into the min heap. First element. So this is the order. So whenever an element comes, it, it is first added into the min heap. Then from that min heap, first element is transferred into the max heap. And then if the size of max heap increases, we have to rebalance these heaps and we have to put the first element from max heap into the min heap. So in this way, we keep on balancing these heaps. So what, what does this do? It basically allows us, us to quickly pick the median of a data stream or the median of a particular data. And this is the same approach which is used in that question which I was talking about, like finding data in a, finding median of a data stream. Now let's, let's, let's try to apply this approach here in this particular example when we have a window size of three. So let's say we have two heaps. One is min heap. and one is max heap. So what happens is we first take the first element and we add it to the min heap. So we add it here. Let's say we add it here one. Now as soon as we add the, add the element to the min heap, we take the first value, which was always the top in both these heaps. First value or the top value in both these heaps. We take that first value from min heap, we add it to the max heap. So basically we transfer one over here, it becomes one here. So if I just simply say this, so one comes here. Now, as you can see, the size of max heap becomes more than min heap. We have to rebalance it and we have to shift the first element from max heap back to the min heap. So we take max heap first element, which is one, and we put it back to the min heap. So it comes back here. Now, when we add three, we add it to the min heap. So three is added over here. Now, remember the order of min heap is always like this, where this is, basically the biggest element, also the smallest element, big to small, 
and the order here will be big to small now we added 3 and 3 got added at the bottom of min heap because 1 is smaller now we take the first element from min heap we put it in the max heap so we remove this here and we put here the first element of min heap now as you can see the max heap size is not greater than min heap so we keep the data structure like that like that only now we take the next element minus 1 from the array and we put it into the min heap so it goes over here now we take the first element from min heap and we transfer it to the max heap so minus one got transferred over here so we remove minus one from here and we put minus one at the bottom of one because it is smaller now as you can see the size of max heap becomes min heap as soon as we add minus one so we take the first element from max heap and we rebalance it by putting one back to the min heap which is the top element in the max heap and it also becomes top element in the min heap because remember the one was bigger in max heap considering minus one as the entry and one is smaller in min heap considering three as the entry now you can qu quickly see in these two heaps right now that the top element in min heap is one and the max element uh, and the top element in max heap is minus one now when the window size is odd which in, in this case is odd obviously k is equals to three which is odd we always take the first value from the min heap as a median so the median if this is odd median is first value from min heap if this is even then we take first value first value from min heap plus second value from max heap and we, take, we divide it by 2 to get the average which is the median so in this case you can see the order of elements is like this minus 1 1 3 and the median is 1 so the window size is 3 which is odd we take the median as 1 which is from here so this becomes the median so this becomes the median now <clears throat> we move ahead and we go to minus 3 as an element now remember when we move ahead and we see that three was here one was here and we are here now remember when we go to the fourth element in the in the array or the third index position we see that minus 3 is here and we have already crossed this element 1 so window size is 3 that means we don't need one anymore we don't need the first element or the zero index element anymore because we have already crossed that window size so we have to remove one from either of these heaps so wherever th that one is present we have to remove it from there so what we do we check which heap has th that element 1 and we remove it from there so in this particular case one is in the min heap so we remove it from here so we remove one from here and then we add minus 3 into the min heap so we add minus 3 here now according to the algorithm we move the first element from min heap to the max heap so we move minus 3 from here and we add it over here and then as you can see the max heap size is more than min heap we move the first element from max heap back to the min heap so we move, we move minus 1 from here and we add it over here now as you can see that here the k is odd so we take the the first value of min heap so which is minus 1 so then the, the median of the next window is minus 1 and you can see like this that if we order these element minus 3 minus 1 and 3 the median will be minus 1 which we, which we are getting correctly from the algorithm now <clears throat> we move to the fifth element or the fourth element and the fifth value f5 is a value don't get confused in the indices and the values so now we add we want to add 5 to the heap but before adding 5 we have to check whether we have crossed the previous window we have crossed the previous window so we have to remove this index this particular index the first index or the third 3 as a value from the heap now where is the 3 3 is in the min heap so we remove 3 from here and we go to basically adding 5 as a value so when we add 5 as a value we add 5 over here 
because minus 1 is smaller than 5 and then we take the first value from the min heap and we add it into the max heap so we take minus 1 from here and we add minus 1 over here so minus 1 goes at the bottom of max heap because so minus 1 goes at the top because minus 3 is smaller now as you can see the max heap size is more than min heap so we move back the element from max heap to the min heap which is the balancing approach so we take minus 1 from here and we put it back over here and then again we take the median which is minus 1 so in this also the median is minus 1 because if you order these elements it comes like this and minus 1 is the median so this is how you take the median and for example if let's say we have another element called 6 here let's say we have another element called 6 and let's say the window size is 4 then we when we add 6 we add it into the min heap so it goes down here and minus 1 got shifted to here and you can see as the, the window is even now we take the first two values to calculate the median so the median will become minus 5 minus 1 by 2 is equals to 4 and why is this happening because when we take the window size of four elements and we take the elements like this minus 3 minus 1 5 and 6 the two middle elements are minus 1 and 5 so the order, the median will be based on these two values considering that the window size is even which is 4 and we take the values from heaps like this so this is a basic approach of solving uh, the problem of sliding window median or the data median or the median in a data stream but we will talk about that problem in some other video so let's solve this problem on leak code and let me show you how how that approach looks like now i'm not going to type the entire uh, code right now just to save time and i'm going to just pick the last summary code from my own collection so let's say i just pick the last summary code from here and this is following the same approach which i have just discussed so what we do we create two min heaps two two heaps one is min and one is max heap and we create a comparator so the comparator says that if the values are not equal we just compare those values and if the value is same we take the indices now the reason i am taking indices because the the heap will contain indices not the values itself because a heap because these values can be repeated so if we add the values and then we try to remove those values it might get it, it might mess up the approach so we instead of taking the values we take the indices and then we compare on the basis of their values so here we are basically comparing the values if they are not equal otherwise we are comparing the indices now we create a min heap based on this comparator and then, then we reverse the comparator to create a max heap we create a result array which will basically be of size total length of the array minus k plus 1 so for example if there are 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 so the eight elements in this example given here the size will be uh, it uh, will be 8 minus 3 5 plus 1 6 so there will be six median values now if you see the algorithm this is a very uh, classic algorithm of finding median and this is based on the approach which i discussed so first of all look at this part this is what we are basically doing in the algorithm so we always add value to min heap first then we shift shift first value from min heap to max heap then we balance these heaps balance these heaps and balancing just takes the condition where if the max heap size is greater than min heap just add the first value from max heap to the min heap so this is the crux of this algorithm this part rest part is just to add value to the result array so this part says that if you cross the window size then only remove or start removing the elements from the heap otherwise there is no point in removing so for example if the size of the window is 3 and we are at first index position 3 then there is no point of removing element because we have not even counted the first window and this part this part just calculate the median based on the approach which we discussed like if the k value is odd then take the first two va first values of max and min heap and take the average or just take the first value from min heap 
and what this condition does i greater than equals to k minus one this says that after you cross a window size you keep on giving me the median of that window which is formulated at that point of time so initially when window is not formed like i is equals to let's say uh, one or the index position is one which is not equal to even the window size of k is three here so k minus one is two so if i is not even greater than or equal to two then there is no point of finding the window uh, finding the median of that window because if i is at the middle uh, if i is at the first index position three then we have not even considered the first window right now so as soon as i reaches the second index position or zero one to the second index position for k is equals to three we start calculating the median so after i is here then we calculate the median of this window the first three elements and i is at this position then we calculate the median of this window when i is at uh, fifth element or the fourth index position we calculate the median of this window and so on so this basically allows you to calculate the median after we reach a particular window size initially so this is how this uh, algorithm looks and let's try to run this so it works just fine let me submit this just to show you how efficient it is so it beats around 77 uh, percent this percentage varies but the time complexity here will be order of n log n and the reason is because we are adding n elements and insertion time of tree set or min heap and max heap is order of log n so that's how this problem works I hope this makes things a bit easier to understand and if you have any issues or suggestions just let me know and if you also want to see the solution of that another problem called finding median in a data stream let me know I will post a video for that too. Thank you.